My father is here. He is 85 years old. He's been here three and a half years. His name is John, and um, John has had dementia for 16 years from a diagnosis by a doctor. Most people are aware that they have it before a doctor diagnoses it. Um, kind of a Renaissance man, very uh, well read. He knows all kinds of history. Um, he, he always reminded me of like a typical history professor. He smoked cigarettes and then a pipe later and he'd have this pipe and for a while he had a beard and he's bald and he just looked like his professor, you know. We started noticing small things, my mother more than others, but we just said, well, he's getting older, you, you know, it wasn't a big deal. And again, because I wasn't living at home, I didn't see some of these things that I think she was saying. And she started getting worried. She had some surgery, they moved to an assisted living facility. And as long as she was alive, she was like his memory. Once she passed, which was 2006, after that, things really went downhill fast. Came to Arden Courts myself before my dad was involved. I walked in saying, hmm, you know, this is just another nursing home. Walked out of here going, oh my gosh, I have to get my dad in here. And she gave me ways of understanding what my dad was going through, what my family needed to do, what I needed to do, um, how to talk to my doctor, what documentation I needed. Really gave me a path forward, which at, to that point I was like, nobody was helping me. There's always somebody here to answer your questions and just let them know that we offer many things. Uh, physicians, dental, uh, psychiatrists, we do therapy here. And Arden Courts became a way to solve all those problems and make sure my dad was safe, well cared for, and actually educate me how to help my dad. I always encourage families to come to the support groups so that they learn you know, a little bit more about the disease or what, you know, what to kind of ex expect. And at first I came regularly because, boy, was that helpful. Every question I had. And after I became a veteran and I was here longer and I'd see these new people coming in, whether it was a spouse or a child or whatever, and they'd start crying. And I said, why are you crying? And they'd stop and they'd go, what do you mean? I said, you're crying because you feel guilty. This person is happy. They don't know that they have dementia. It's not even like I go to work. It's like I go to my second home because we're all kind of like family here. And I think that the residents can pick up on that. And it just makes for a much, you know, a good environment for them. Um, continuity, especially. This is his home. This is where he's getting the treatment. And I can live my life. I can work, I can be with my family, I can travel, I can do what I wanna do and not feel guilty at all that I'm abandoning my father. He is loved, he is cared for, he has intelligent people who are looking out for his best interests better than I could ever do in a million years and are patient with him and know how to deal with all of his symptoms and they're aware of his routine and they're aware of all of those little things. If he acts differently, they're on top of it. Um, just every possible thing you can imagine doesn't that make you feel satisfied when my kids are happy and they're in the right place? I'm happy, I'm satisfied, and I'm glad for them. Same with my dad.